What they found was that as people paid more and more attention to the distance between these bumps, and they would signal when there was a change by pressing a lever, as they did that, there was very rapid changes, plasticity in the representation of the fingers. And it could go in either direction. You could get people very good at detecting the distance between uh, bumps that the distance was getting smaller or the distance was getting greater. So people could get very good at these tasks that are kind of hard to imagine how they would translate to the real world for a non-Braille reader. But what it told us is that these maps of touch were very much available for plasticity. And these were fully adult subjects. They're not taking any specific drugs. They don't have any impairments that we're aware of. And what it showed, what it proved is that the adult brain is very plastic. And they did some beautiful control experiments that are important for everyone to understand, which is that sometimes they would bring people in and they would have them touch the, these bumps on this spinning drum, but they would have the person pay attention to an auditory cue, 